we have all Dolce & Gabbana. I have the skin tint, the primer, the lip oil, the bronzer, the blush, you name it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So as I said in the intro, all Dolce & Gabbana today, all the new products, and then I'm gonna show you some things that have come out before, but that are included, quote, in the new products. The first thing to say about Dolce & Gabbana, this is a reformulated, refurbished, re-something line. Dolce & Gabbana used to exist mostly overseas is where I, I got most of it. I'm in the U.S. Harrods and Selfridges would have it and there were places in Italy that had it obviously because it's Dolce & Gabbana. There's big huge, there are lots of Dolce & Gabbana stores. In Italy I was in Milan last year, no, two years ago I was in Milan and there's Dolce & Gabbana stores you can go and they're beautiful stores. Some of my favorite stores actually. But this is a new line of Dolce & Gabbana, so all brand new. And I think they're going for a, if I look at the designs compared to the other, the older designs, in some ways they're going for a minimalistic, more clean, almost quiet luxury look. What do I mean by that? As I mentioned in my intro, I have the primer, the skin tint, the, what I'm gonna call bronzer, I will get that blush, powder, lip oil, mascara. And if you look at all the designs, they are all very simplistic. They have, I'm sorry, I got smudges all over this, but they are all the same shape, different shades, but this rounded square, it's like a scroll kind of thing. Whereas if you look at some of the older designs that Dolce had, for example, this is an, an older shadow palette, you can see that's a very different, it's a different design than the new ones. However, the Devotion line, which is this powder, which is Luce, Luce Universal. It has a pinkish tone to it. We're gonna talk about it today. And the mascara, and there's also a Devotion perfume, which I actually love. The shape is the same. The compact shape is the same, but the design is very ornate. And then the I Dare You palette, which came out recently, is obviously very non quite luxury. So I'm not, I'm not sure if maybe there's just like two distinct Dolce lines, if that's what's happening, or if some of the stuff is like a holdover and this is the new, it's a little hard to find out. But today we're gonna to go through all the products. I'm gonna talk about them. I've worn them several times. I have video of me putting them on before so we can talk about uh, you know, what they are and how I'm using them and what I think of them. This is the first thing we're gonna put on today. This is the Dolce & Gabbana Mint Oil Lip Plumper. All of these things are made in Italy, by the way. Um, okay, so first ingredient on here is something I don't know what it is. But I will say that I have heard from others that it's a nice lip oil. I love the color. The blue just killed me. And that it does, it's mint is not too minty. So we're about to find out. Well, it's beautiful oil. Waiting for the tingle. Cause it's a lip plumper, so it's gonna be tingly, right? We're real time waiting here, guys, so I'm trying to give you a... Hmm, okay. No tingling yet. Feels nice. There's mint, but it's actually not minty. It's more Fruity, minty? Does that make any sense? It smells nice. Okay, and now I can feel it coming. Castor oil, shea butter, seed oil, sunflower seed oil. There's a part, there's a perfume in here, a fragrance. And that's what I'm smelling. It's very nice, it's light though. Spearmint, there's spearmint leaf extract. It's really nice. And I'm not getting any tingling. Like there's a warming, but no tingling. Okay, very nice. All right, next is the primer. So uh, I'm gonna put this on today. I do have video of me putting it on and putting it on the back of my hand. This is a Bergamot Glow Primer, Lasting Makeup and Glow Enhancer. Again, made in Italy. 
24 hour hydration made with bergamot, hyaluronic acid. Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay. 12 month shelf life. This is what it looks like. It's in a white tube and it's got this metal at the top that you add to the um, tube, which allows you to, as you go through the tube, condense it down like a tube of toothpaste. So it looks like this. Again, it's that beautiful blue, which you might not care aesthetically at all about, but to me looks like very neat. It comes sealed and then you use this top to puncture it, which is like a nice touch because it keeps it, you know. So it's this gorgeous blue again, same as the lip oil. And it's very, I'm just like dabbing a little bit on, it's very silky. You'll notice that I am avoiding my brows because yes, I had my brows microbladed. I waited to film until they looked normal. I am now in the, my brows are flaking off period. If you've never had your brows done, basically at first they look really like way too much. Then they disappear. Like then they look like you have dandruff in your hair, in your eyebrows. Cause like little pieces come off. It's really weird. And then they disappear. And then at the two week mark, it all comes back. So it's like a two week process. So right now I'm in the, they're disappearing kind of mode. But anyway, so I waited until it calmed down a little bit. So I'm avoiding my brows. So when I do this makeup, it'll be, my eyebrows will be weird looking, they'll carve out. But the, it feels super silky. It's like a, I, I can't really explain. It's not like other primers I've tried. The number one ingredient in here is water, then glycerin, and then a bunch of chemical names that I can't pronounce. But yeah, it's there's also seawater in here. It's really silky smooth. There is mica in here as well, but it's about halfway down the list. Yeah, it's, it feels hydrating, it feels silky. And then once you put it on, it doesn't feel like there's anything there. I've used it a couple times, it's very nice. It doesn't keep my skin hydrated. I don't know if it like really evens out my pores, so to speak, because I don't feel like that's a huge issue for me. It's the redness, but I really like it as a primer. I think it's, if it's something that you're looking for hydration and glow, I think it's very nice. Okay, next is the Blueberry Nutri Tint. This is a Hydro Glow and Fresh Skin Tint. Again, made in Italy, just keep saying it. Also says 24 hours of hydration. It has glycerin, gl well, no, glycerol, glucoside, I really should have gone into more scientific fields. Okay, so the number one ingredient again is water, dimethicone, talc, so it does have talc in it, phenol trimethicone, bunch of glycerin, magnesium sulfate, oh, that's interesting, hydrogen dimethicone. All right, so it comes like this. Again, it's got that same shape as all the other pieces, which I think is really interesting. I shake it up, I don't, it doesn't say specifically, at least I didn't see it say specifically to shake it up, but. The reason it's called the blueberry nutritant is that it contains a uh, blueberry from cilantro to improve skin tone and radiance. So, hey, all right. I have used this before and I know the first question I'm going to get asked is it looks like this with a tube. You have to squeeze it. It's a little runny because of course it's water. How does this compare to the Lisa Eldridge and hey, the color that I chose by the way in a minute. First of all, it's the Lisa Eldridge. I feel like the Lisa Eldridge is like a different product altogether to a certain extent, because again, when this is described, it's a Nutra tint, but it's still a tint. The Lisa Eldridge isn't described as a tint of any kind. It's described as a enhancer. So I feel like that's different. But anyway, first thing to say is you can use your fingers with this or you can use a brush, you can use whatever. I feel like the Lisa Eldridge um, is the least amount of coverage that there is. I would say next would be something like the Chanel tent, the original Chanel tent, the one with the broken beads. Then I'd say a product like this one. There's other ones like this one, but I'd say this would come next. And I think you can see me putting it on right now how it's covering up redness. It's got a really nice texture. It's very light, like lightweight, 
like I said, you can put it on with your fingers, you put it on with a brush. I always like to put things on with a brush. I feel like it just, I don't know, it's a smoother application. It does give pigment, it does cover up things. So I would say it's definitely more coverage than the Lisa Eldridge. The Lisa Eldridge though, does this weird thing where it blurs your imperfections without really having a lot of coverage. And then if you let it sit a while, the coverage comes out. I have to say, I think the Lisa Eldridge has less coverage than this, if that's really specifically coverage but I actually think the Lisa Eldridge blurs beautifully. I am gonna do a side-by-side -side with this and actually a bunch of other things because there's a bunch of other products that I need to compare. Some mascaras and a bunch of other things, so that's coming up. You might notice it looks a little light, and I would agree. I bought shade 2C or 02C. I think I could go up a shade. The way that it works with this tint, with the shades, there are cool shades, there are neutral shades, and there are warm shades. After 2C, the next one up is 3 Warm Light. So I think that doesn't work for me. 3 Warm will be too warm. I'm looking on the site right now. I don't see 4, and I don't know if it's sold out. Where 4 is just missing, which is possible. So I'll, oh no, yeah, it's missing. Okay, so I'll get back to you with that. I'll put something below if I can figure it out. But the next one is 5N Light. And I think that might work. The next C that's available, the next cool shade that's available is 9C. And I just think that's gonna be, I think that's gonna be too deep for me. Depending on how much I like this product, I would be interested in getting the 5N and trying to figure out what the four is, because I don't know right now. It, it might be they just don't have the shade four. It's possible, or that it's sold out. So it does oxidize. Not a ton. But as I sit here, you'll notice it does get a little bit warmer. So it's not it's something that I can't wear, especially as a skin tint, it's fine. But I would say it's probably half a shade, maybe a shade too light. Uh, I, I personally would rather go too light and warm it up with bronzers and, and blushes and stuff. But to see, like I said, is a little too much, a little too cool, but I will try 5N if I, if I end up really liking the product. I already can tell you that I like it. I think it's very good. I like the finish it gives. I like the wear of it. I have a picture of me, which I'll show you later, after wearing it for eight hours. And I was wearing it eight hours in not the best circumstances. I'm just looking on my phone, making sure it's there. Yeah, it's there. And you'll see, I look glowy, but... It looks good. I'll show you the, the first look that I did with it and then the same look eight hours later. So you'll see that in a second. But let's get through the, the other products as well. I do like it, just spoiler alert. I think it's very good. I just, it's very hydrating. You'll see how I look at the eight hour mark. I actually look dewy, which is saying something. I don't think that's bad. I love the way it looks, but if you have really oily skin, maybe you're not gonna like it as much. Okay, next product. This is the Face and Eyes Match, and I was trying to figure out what they meant by that. It's the Lasting Bronzer and Eyeshadow Powder. Basically the gist, and, and all of us, I think, I shouldn't say all of us, many of us have done this, right? Where you put on your uh, bronzer and then you use that bronzer for your eye look because that way it, it matches up with your look. And so I think that's what they're going with. For this. There are different shades. There's 01, 02, I think it goes up to 05. On Saks right now, there's only three shades available, but there are more shades. I've seen them. I just, they're not available on Saks right now, but they are. You know what? I'm going to go to the Dolce Slice. Yes. There are five colors for the face and eye match. You've got one light, two light medium, three medium, four medium deep, and 05 deep. Like I said, at the moment, at Saks, there's only three shades, but they're probably sold out. They do have a liquid lip, which actually looks very cool. It has the same devotion packaging. I have not picked that up because I'm not a liquid lip lover. I'm looking at the Dolce site. Yeah, shade four doesn't exist. There is no four. They just decided that they would go one, two, three, five. So why not, right? Yeah, I think the next shade for me would be five. It would be five in. And the neutral tint, by the way, is $52. So. That's what they did with this face and eyes match product from Dolce. It's a bronzer, 
but it's also meant for your eyes. Now I went with a zero two. I did not go with the lightest. Now I think you're probably gonna be like, why? Why didn't you go with the lightest? You are a very pale person. Because to me, the lightest shade in here, light, looked warm. And they, they, it happens a lot. A lot of times when I see the lightest shade in a bronzer, it looks more golden and the deeper it gets, there's more coolness to it, which I think is interesting. But anyway, Hermes did that too. I'm going with the zero two. I'll swatch it in just a second. I'm gonna put it on my face. <laughs> Let's see what it does. I also believe that if, if a powder is good, then you're gonna be able to control it so that it doesn't look too deep. And this one is. Dolce, the, the products that I used to buy from Dolce, which don't exist anymore, like this, and there's a lipstick and there's a whole bunch of bronzers that I have, old Dolce bronzers, which I'm gonna compare to this after um, this video, after I've used it for a little bit, are beautiful. But the reason I don't pull them out is because they, they're gone, like they don't exist anymore. So, I was hoping that they would be like the Dolce of old, and they are. This is a beautiful formula. It's incredibly pigmented, and what I would say is it's not really smooth. It's the, if you can see the, the face of this, it's got ridges almost. And that's interesting. I'm not sure why they did that. It's like in the design, but it works really well. Yeah, the powder is beautiful, but I would tell you that the color is still, it's not cool. It's cooler, but it's not like a cool. But I, I think it's definitely better than the light would have been. I think the light would have been, I think the light would have been yellowish for some reason. I don't know why, I don't know why, but brands seem to do that. All right, so now we're gonna take this exact shade and just use it as eyeshadow. Uh, I was looking for a big, how do I use this brush? It's very pigmented. It's milled in such a way that it's easy to blend out. And yeah, it's really nice. I really like this. I'm not surprised. Like I said, all of the older Dolce products I loved, they were just really hard to get in the US. And now they're gone. So that's the matching shade, that's zero two. This one, 1 1.4 ounces, I'm sorry, 0.49 ounces four grams, light, medium, 24 month shelf life. Of course, made in Italy. These are $54, beautiful shade. It isn't as cool as I would like. I'm gonna compare it to my trusted old Tara to give you an idea of the coolness. But I would say it's not bad. It's just, it's not as, not as cool as Tara, but it's not yellow. So. So this is Tara, and this is Dolce. You can see the Tara is cooler, but it's not bad. It's warm enough that I think people will like it, but it's very pigmented. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. Yeah, it's very pretty. We'll go to the powders last, because I'm gonna show it to you in the new powder which is this, <laughs> in comparison to my favorite powder of all time, which is this, and also the, the Devotion powder, which we'll get to in a minute. Okay, so this is, make sure I have the right name. This is the Cheek and Eyes Match. So again, you can put this on your eyes. Now you can put any product on your eyes, don't get me wrong, but they specifically have created it to be that way. And this one is in shade Blissful Mauve. I picked Mauve because I just, I wanted something a little different than the pink or the coral that I always end up getting. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. It has raspberry and grapes. Huh, Italian and raspberry and grapes. Known to improve the skin barrier and help retain skin moisture. Well, that's interesting. Leave it to the Italians. All right, how many, 24 months, again, with the blush. And then you're gonna ask me if it has talc in it, so hold on. Raspberry leaf, grape leaf. I do not see talc in this. Mica in it, vegetable oil. Okay, I don't see talc in the blush. All right, so I'm gonna show you the color. Again, it has that design on it so that it's got ridges almost to the design. It is not 
smooth. And it's weighty compact too, which it feels really nice in the hand. It feels really good. It has lasting blush powder designed to create a full monochromatic look, draping a colorful veil on the cheeks, eyes, make comfortable last all day. Does not crease on the eyelids, keeps the skin feeling hydrated. So let's try it on the cheeks and then we will put it on the eyes as well. Yeah, it's pigmented. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very pigmented, beautiful. I like the shade. And let's just put a small, like this is gonna be a little bit smaller. Yeah, this is very pigmented and it, very smooth. It goes on beautifully. I don't even like mauve on my eye and, but it went on like super smooth. And my lips still feel fine, by the way, guys. I don't have, there's no tingling. There's no, I don't know if they look plumper. Do they look plumper to you? That's a different thing. Like, I don't know if they look plumper, but they feel nice. Okay, so let's get to the powder. Now, I have a box for the solar powder, powder, and I have a box now for the Fig Skin Perfector. The ingredients are different. And I'll put the picture, I'll put them up so you can see the and then you can freeze frame and do all that good stuff mica is in both of them synthetic fluoro florophagophyte i okay i don't know is in both of them and those are the first two ingredients but then things change and this fig that's in this as far as i could tell was not in the solar they do not look exactly the same they look similar but not exactly the same. So I'm gonna hold these up. But you can look at this one first. And then this one, like I said, I'll, if you have any questions, but it's not the same, it's not the same ingredients. Powders do look very similar and the compacts look very similar. This of course is silver with the Sicilian design on the front and this one's all gold. Uh, but even in the, if you look at the um, reflection of these, you can see that this one looks less white. Can you see what I'm talking about? They're both white, but <laughs> looks less white. So if you take the solar powder and then you take this new powder, you see how it's not, it's, it's not as white. That's the only way I can explain it. It's also not quite as smooth as the solar power powder. However, the look that you get from them are very similar. Um, the solar powder has a brightening effect that I don't see as much with this, the fig protector. I see more of a perfecting. It does feel comfortable. It, it does feel really good on the skin, but it's not exactly the same. So um, the thing I'd say though, is I haven't used it as much as the solar powder. So I really do have to do, this is a, I tried it a couple of times here in my thoughts video. I need to do an update video with it, which I will. And a comparison video, which I will, there's more coming. But for now, that's where we are. I try when I do these videos to at least have tried the products a couple of times so that you're not, I'm not up here going, oh, I don't know what that does. This is the Devotion Powder. This is a very different powder. It's like a highlighter. I'm going to use it as such today. This came out a while ago, and I think it's a beautiful illuminating powder. It has a peachy slash pink look to it. It's, I think, stunning, and I, I really, I think it's like one of my favorite kind of illuminating powders that's on the market. But I got so overwhelmed with the solar powder that I don't talk about it very often, but it's very nice. It's, it's a beautiful powder. And again, it has the ornate part on it, same as the mascara and same as the um, lip lacquer and the, I'm sorry, liquid lipstick and the perfume, which I also own, which is nice. So today we're gonna try 
this new powder, I am going to do a video where I do one on one side and one on the other. I promise that I will do that. But first, let's take a look at how this powder works when we look at it. Now, I think it is perfecting. I think it definitely has a, a lightweight, almost non-existent look, which is exactly as the solar powder does. It doesn't show up as really anything on your skin. Once you put it on, it's not like there's a sheen. There's not, there's a layer of powder. It doesn't look like anything, which this is also. So although they are different, and although there is different ingredients, at the end of the day, I don't know how different this powder is going to be from the solar powder. Why am I saying that? Because you can't get the solar powder in the US, at least at the moment, it doesn't seem to be available. So I want to say that this may be a very good dupe for it, depending on how I feel about it after a couple of weeks of using it. At the moment, I would tell you that it does look very similar to me. It does perfect the skin, it does smooth out the skin. I just feel like the solar powder had more of a brightening effect than this one does. But again, I haven't used it enough to be able to say that because it could be the other products that I'm using that day or my skin or so many other things that can account for something like that. So I don't wanna draw, you know, one conclusion. I'm not going to. I'll say two things. I'm not gonna put this on today because I'm keeping the look of the face, a face and match and eye and match. But if you haven't seen, this is the I Dare You palette. I did do a video with this. Um, it comes with a chain. I really love the palette. I think it's a lot of fun. The colors are really good. It does create a beautiful look. But as I mentioned in that video, if you're somebody who's not interested in color, if you want a monochromatic look, don't get it because it's a waste of money uh, because it's not, it's, it's a colorful palette. Let's just, let's just say what it is. So I'm gonna use the mascara today. I wanna show you what it looks like. I've done reviews with this before, but it's a good mascara. I really do like this. It's a wet mascara. It's a beautiful mascara. I will do one eye and then show you the comparison and then I'll do the other eye. I won't make you sit through me putting it on though because I do have videos of me trying it out. So I've used this for, I've had this for several months. But overall, what I would say is that the mascara has a wand that it's more of getting at every lash kind of wand. So if you're somebody who wants a tremendous amount of volume, I would just say from the get-go, that's probably not what you want. So let me do the mascara on one eye. We'll be right back. So there is the Devotion Mascara. I think you can see that it definitely does its job. It's very black, it's very wet, and it's definitely lengthening. So you're gonna get a dramatic look from it. I don't think there, there's a way to get a non-dramatic look out of this mascara. That's fine, because I like a dramatic look. But if you're looking for a very natural looking mascara, that's probably not this. The other thing you might not notice about the brush until I get you really close to it, is that it spirals. Can you see that? So the way you wanna use it is to make sure that you spiral it up. The front end is much smaller than the back end, so this, is has longer bristles so if you do what many people do and, and i do as well if you go like this and do your and then go like this the, the different parts of the brush are going to be different parts of your eye so you're going to want to turn it around if you want to keep the longer bristles towards the the outside edge of your eye so i'm going to do this eye i'm going to come back i'm going to put on a little bit of lipstick and we're going to talk about the collection always love a full italian dolce gabbana look so I think you can already tell what my thoughts are gonna be. Absolutely love all the products. They're excellent. They are extremely good. For the price point, I think they're extremely good um, because they are expensive, but they are not, I feel like they didn't, they weren't extravagant in what they did. They're expensive, don't get me wrong. Uh, but everything today in the luxury market is expensive. So the blush is stunning, really very, good pigment, very smooth, does feel hydrating, does last all day, does feel very comfortable on the face and it does not accentuate lines. It's very blurring in the way that it works. I love the compact, but it is a heavy compact. Like it, I like that it has weight to it, but not everyone will love the fact that it's a little bit heavier. This is the mauve shade. I think there's six shades. There's only three shades. Hold on, please hold. 
no, there's six shades. Mauve, peach, rose, pink, strawberry, and rosewood. I will definitely pick up the peach and the rose. Again, I'm on my low buy right now, so I'm not gonna, I wanted to get one of everything. But yeah, I'll definitely pick up the blushes. They're extremely good. This primer is very different from the other primers I've used. It's very silky. It's more hydrating than anything else. Perfecting and glowy, to be honest, I do think it's perfecting. Glowy is hard for me to tell, but I will say that you'll see the picture in a minute. My skin did look glowy at the end of the day, and I can't tell right now if that's the tint or the, the primer because I've been using them together. So I'm gonna start using the primer without this tint and see if I get the same kind of thing. The bronzer, it's a really beautiful bronzer. Again, the powders in here are, in all of these products are outstanding, but it is not the coolest bronzer I've ever seen. This is 02. I have not tried the other shades. That's an issue depending on, but I think the 02 looks very nice on me. Did I go in lightly? Yes, I did. I could deepen it up. And in fact, I will do a, a little bit of a deepening here so you, you can see that you can build it. These are very pigmented products. It's just that I am not using them in a very pigmented way. But this is definitely a light medium. This is not, I'm very pale, and I know you're probably looking at it right now going, that's not gonna work for me. Trust me, these can be built up. It's just that I'm using them for me for obvious reasons. You can just see if I put this on and don't and don't smooth it out. It's a much it's a much deeper shade. Really love love the formula in these products. They are all smooth, they are all pigmented. They all feel hydrating. They feel really nice. So let me show you. Let me show you the picture of the look that I did uh, a couple of days ago. This was today. This was 3 days ago. Yes, my hair is recovered. Like, this is how my hair looks after three days of leaving it curly. But this was the first day. And so this is what the look looked like. And then this is what the look looked like eight hours later. And I think you can see the shine. These aren't touched up. There's like a little eyelash on my face. <laughs> this is, you know, this is how the skin looked. So I do get that kind of shiny look with this, a little bit glowy after eight hours, which is unusual for me because my skin is dry. So again, I don't know if it's the tint or the primer or both. So we'll have to see, but love the powders. They're all stunning. The primers, as far as I can tell, I really like it. It's very nurturing. Like it feels good, nourishing on the skin. So I really like it. The lip oil is great. Um, it's a beautiful lip oil. I love the color and it doesn't sting. It feels a little warm, but the fig powder, the perfecting powder, I don't have an answer for you just yet. If it, It's definitely very close to the solar glow. It's the closest thing I've seen to the solar glow. I've seen a couple of other powders that are, and I'm going to be doing reviews on, extra reviews on these too, that create almost as good of a look, final look, but they're a different type of powder. I'm, just, I'm referring to the Sweet Beauty. But this is in its nature and the way that it looks and the way that it performs, almost identical. But I still feel like the Solar Glow is more brightening. But again, you know, I can't give you a definitive answer just yet, but it's coming. Overall though, I would say, if you bought any one of these products, I would say you're gonna love them. They're extremely good. The question is, do you need them? Do you like the colors? Do you like the packaging? Do you, the price point okay for you? All that stuff, but it's all excellent. I recommend all of it. The lipstick I have on is a new Gucci lipstick, a new shade of Gucci lipstick. It's not a new, new lipstick. It's our satin lipstick in Eliza Ginger. It's a great shade. Um, and I do like the Gucci. In fact, of all the products from Gucci, I like the bronzer and the lipsticks the, the best, but I have been trying it out, wearing it. A couple things to note, I do have Chanel Summer, yes, I promise I will get a review up as soon as I possibly can. So I know I've had a lot of blast me. Two, the new Dior single eyeshadows, like 30 Dior single eyeshadows, from the really old formula to the reformulated pine oil aloe formula from several years ago. And I have pretty much all the shades. Beige Mitza, I have that shade. This is the shade right here. So I'm not buying the new reformulated ones because um, I very much doubt they're better. Unless you really wanna see them. 
you want to see one compared to the older ones. And like I said, I have the really old ones and then the ones from four years ago and now these. If you want a review, you need to tell me because I do not plan to pick them up because I don't think they're going to be better. And then three, I do have the Byredo Mineral Scapes. I do have it. I just have not had time to review it yet because my life has been so crazy. Your feedback is incredibly helpful to me. In fact, I'm here for you. So let me know what you want to see. DM me, put comments down below. That, that way I know how to prioritize all of this. And I have more stuff that I haven't even mentioned that has been kindly sent to me and I haven't had a chance to look at that either. I'm working on it. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon. Thank you.